Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Sometimes during Formula One races, there can be long periods where there's just little track action and no overtaking. In those times, the race strategy can just be absolutely crucial. Strategy is the understanding of the fuel that's in the car, the tires and how they're working, the track. The track is never static, it is always changing, it's always dynamic in terms of its grip that it's giving you, it's the performance of the tires and how it's working. Putting that all together, we use a number of complex simulations, so computer systems, that work with us during the race. But ultimately, it's a human decision at the end, and it has to be. It's all about psychologically having the upper edge against your rivals. Mainly the strategy is decided by the team, because they just have a much better overview of the whole situation on the television, on their computers. Strategy doesn't just extend to the race. It also extends to qualifying, and prior to that, the most important thing is approaching the race weekend with a clear and concise plan for the drivers. In qualifying, the strategy is understanding what tyres will do, how to use them, in what order, and how to apply that for the final result in the final qualifying session. And in the race, it's the decisions about when we're stopping, who we are racing against, who are our primary competitors, and how we're going to beat them on track. It's a bit like playing chess. Uh, it's a group of clever people in our team against a group of clever people in the other team and you just always want to be a few steps ahead of them to be able to beat them. Race strategy, in its most simplest form, is achieving the highest possible result at the end of the race. And that may mean you're beating cars that are faster than you on track or have better pit stops than you, but you're achieving it through outwitting them. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.